But today, I'm going to share with us how to have a satisfied year 2022. How to have a satisfied year 2022. We all want satisfaction. We all want to be satisfied. We all want to enjoy life. We all want to have a great life. In fact, we all want to make it big. We all want to be a distinguished person in the society. You know, we all want to be great husbands. We all want to be great wives. In fact, even the children are not left out. They want to be wonderful children. Businessmen want to make it big. But the truth is, that desire is not evil. Those desires, they are not bad at all. Because down deep in every man is the desire, is the, is the picture of the kind of life that they want for themselves. But the good news I have for you today is this, that your desire is possible. That your desire is what you are meant to enjoy in year 2022 and even for the rest of your life. But for you to be able to enjoy that, for you to be able to be satisfied, there is something that you must do and you cannot afford not to do. And that thing is discovering your purpose. Discovering your purpose. You know, if you are yet to discover your purpose, you can never be satisfied because you can only derive maximum enjoyment. You can only derive maximum satisfaction if you are doing your purpose. If you are doing your purpose, you know, that's the only thing that can give you satisfaction. Make millions. If you make that million in another area except your purpose, I'm telling you, you will never be satisfied. The only thing that can give you satisfaction is doing you. And that you is your purpose. And the truth is, we all have purpose. There is no man on earth without any purpose. In as much you are here, in as much you are still alive, I'm telling you, you have a purpose. Because God that sent you here is never an emotional creator. It will never create any man for the for the fun of it. The fact that you are created and the fact that he sent you here shows that there is a purpose behind your existence. So you are created for a purpose with a purpose and for a purpose. You are created on purpose. There's a reason behind why you are here. And you know what? Until you discover that reason behind your existence and you start doing something about it, you will never be satisfied. I'm telling you, the satisfaction you are looking for is not in you getting married. Oh, you're saying, ah, perhaps maybe when I'm married, maybe I will enjoy life. Perhaps maybe when I have a wife to myself, perhaps maybe I will be happy. Okay, maybe why I'm not happy is because I have no child. I'm telling you, that's not it why you are not satisfied while there is a missing link within you is because you are yet to discover the reason behind your existence is because you are yet to discover why you are here on the earth yo you're saying now oh, the way the situation surrounding my bed does not even uh, communicate that i'm here for a purpose because i came to be by mistake that my mother and my daddy are not even expecting me. The thing just happened and my... Some of you say, look, okay, my mother tried everything she could to, to get rid of me, to abort me, but I just stayed. See, and now, when I was born, my mother couldn't even look at me. She wouldn't take care of me because she thought I was a mistake. I'm telling you, that has nothing to do with your purpose. Irrespective of how you are born, irrespective of where you are born, irrespective of the situation, the circumstances, uh, surrounding your bed you have a purpose there is a reason behind your existence 
there is a reason behind your existence. You can say, look, I'm born without hand. I'm born without eyes. And because of that, I don't think I'm here. I'm, I'm an accident. You are never an accident. You are never an accident. You are never an accident because God cannot make mistake. So the fact that you are here shows that you are a success. You are never a mistake. You have a purpose. So your duty now is to discover that your purpose and start doing something about it. Start doing something about it. Because until you discover your purpose, you can never be satisfied. So if you want to have a satisfied year 2022, you must discover, seek to know and discover the reason behind your existence. Oh, you can now say, John D, why am I here? How can I discover that purpose? Yeah. Because I want to be satisfied. I thought I could get satisfaction from drugs. I thought I could get satisfaction from drinking. I thought I could get satisfaction for humanizing. But see, the more I tried, the more satisfaction I lose me. So that purpose you are talking about, John D, I I want to discover it. Then how? Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how. How to discover your purpose. You know, there are pointers to your purpose. There are pointers to the reason behind your existence. And the first pointer to your purpose is this, your passion. Your passion. What you have passion for. You know, within every man is one inner hudge towards something. Within every man there is an inner tendency towards something you know that urge you felt it the very first day you knock it down the second day the urge popped up again you knock it down third day one month two months one year two years and the urge kept on coming you know the urge kept on coming see that is a pointer to your purpose that is trying to tell you what you should be doing what you should spend the rest of your life doing that inner hodge so don't just knock it down you've denied that inner hodge enough now is the time to take a step towards your purpose stop knocking it down maybe you can take go for a seminar read books on that line of your passion just do something about it so stop knocking it down stop knocking it down i as a person like i always say i studied civil engineering in school civil engineering was what i studied but not that i love construction but my thing what gives me satisfaction is not constructing houses i can do that yes i can do it but what gives me satisfaction is talking to people you know talking to them and making them realize that they are born to be great you know talking to people and have their eyes opened that oh i'm born to make it in life you know talking to people and they will come to realize that success is who they are so that is my passion and I started doing something about it 2015 when I graduated from the university. So what I'm trying to tell you is this, enough is enough of knocking down those inner hodges you have on your inside. That is the pointer to what you should be doing. Another pointer to your purpose is your talent, the talent you have you can say okay john d i know i can draw when it comes to drawing i can draw but how can that give me satisfaction or how can that put food on my table yes it does it can it can it can put food on your table how do i know picasso pablo you know picasso pablo the father discovered that he has passion he has he's got the talent in painting you know the father started training him the father started training him it got to a time the father realized that oh this boy 
Picasso, Pablo. This particular boy is a talent. I don't need to even draw again. I don't even need to paint again. What I need to do is all that I have, I use it to promote the work of this, my son. And you know what? Picasso, Pablo's painting cost one painting, you know, cost millions of dollars. So what are we talking about? Your talent now, your skill set, what you have now is a pointer to your purpose. What you can do without winking high. Like if they wake you up now, they wake you up now, you can do that thing. That is the pointer to your purpose. And now your duty is to sit down and look at that talent of yours that how can I use it to bless life? Because your primary purpose is to solve people's problem. Your primary purpose is to make the world a better place. Your primary purpose is to bless life. So when you now look at your talent, the skill set you have in your toolbox, in your skill box, you look for a way. How can I use this to bless life? life i love drawing i love painting then i can use it to bless life then you can paint stories for children to read that will shape their mind that, that will shape their perspective about life you can always do something with that your skill to make life better you can say oh my own skill is that i can do makeup oh, then how can i use makeup to bless people you can there are people that stand behind the camera every day you can make them look good to do what they are born to do and in such a way you are part of that person's work in blessing life so there is always something you can do without your talent in making the world a better place you know the world today people are suffering because there is somebody somewhere that is just there sitting down doing nothing with the talent that is gotten so that's why you need to do what you need to wake up now and that talent you have that your skill set you do something about it and another way you can discover your purpose is god revelation god revelation god can open your eyes to know what you are born to do god can even appear to you in a dream and tell you what you should do you know you can be sleeping and you have a vision and you will know what you are born to do i as a person in my 200 level I was sleeping then i was even i was not even thinking or even talking about okay how can i uh discover my purpose but i was just sleeping that night i was sleeping that night and my spirit came out from me i know if you're not spiritual you may not want to believe this and my spirit came out from me and i was levitating in the air i was moving at the speed of light and before me was something like a panorama and as I was moving, I saw written on those panorama what I should be doing. And that was how I got to know what I'm born to do. So God revelation is another way you can discover your purpose. There was even a time I had a vision. Somebody was by his car and he was disturbed. He was confused, he tired of life. And as I moved close to him, immediately I knew what his problem was. And words started bubbling out from my inside through my mouth. And the word I speak to the man solved this problem once and for all. And his smiles, his joy returned back to him. And that was how I got to know that when I speak to people, I speak the solution to their problem. See, God can reveal unto you your purpose in different ways because God relates with people differently. I know you believe in God and I'm telling you that your God you believe in can show you your purpose in any way. What you just need to do is just sit down, be attentive, open your ears, open your eyes, be at alert that okay in any way you want to communicate to me my purpose, I am ready and I'm telling you it will do that for you and after discovering your purpose you must be ready to work it you must be ready to work your purpose because there will not always be time we don't have all day we don't have all the years so you need to start doing something about your purpose now and you know what your purpose is more important than your education 
your education can help your purpose in fact your education will help you in fine-tuning your purpose but your purpose is greater than your education nothing should be allowed to stand between your purpose and the fulfillment of it you must do everything because all kind of things will come to distract you from the fulfillment of your purpose your own is to say no this is what i'm born to do and i'm going i'm not going to allow anything to stop me you know so many good things will come your way to stop you but the good is not the best the best is your purpose and that's why you must get to it now if you want to be satisfied and i'm telling you there are so many lives out there that are waiting for you to discover your purpose and start doing something about it why because there are some people that they will still remain in bondage there are some people that they will still remain in that their situation if you refuse to stand up and do something about your purpose you've got to do something about it do something about that thing and make life better and i'm telling you that is what you need to do to be satisfied in year 2022 make the money next year if you are not working your purpose you're not going to be satisfied have a beautiful wife have a have a wonderful husband if you are not working your purpose you will never be satisfied so if you want to be satisfied in year 2022 seek to discover your purpose discover your purpose and walk your purpose and as you do that i'm telling you nothing can stop your joy nothing can stop your happiness in fact nothing can stop your prosperity there is nobody that works in purpose that remains poor no i've never seen anybody like that so walk your purpose that's the sure way to enjoy life walk your purpose that's the sure way to be prosperous so seek to discover your purpose today